Feed manufacturers are calling on the government to increase access to other genetically modified raw materials to bolster production and lower the cost of feeds. Currently, BT cotton seed cake manufactured animal feeds account for 30% of production. On the other hand, government is exploring ways to increase soya and sunflower production to boost feed production. Data from the Ministry of Agriculture shows that Kenya has an animal feed supply gap of 33 million metric tons. Animal feed manufacturers opine leveraging GMO raw materials is key in bridging the gap at a cheaper cost. And that cotton that they are growing, after they process the, the cotton seeds, we are getting the cotton seed meal from that uh, process. And now I can confirm to you, as the chairman, chairman of Akifema, that we are buying all our cotton seed meal locally. So that's a, that's a, very, good, that's a very great uh, a chance or opportunity that the government has uh, given to us. The growing demand for cotton seed cake is expected to revitalize the cotton subsector and open up a lucrative income stream for farmers. Further, feed farmers have been urged to harness available technologies developed by local researchers and create an enabling environment for investment for mass production. I want them to learn the latest technologies in feed manufacturing so that at the end of the day they'll become more efficient, they'll be able to produce their feeds cheaply and also of very high quality. So at the end of the day, the farmers will benefit with very high quality feeds and low costs. Livestock Principal Secretary Jonathan Mweke also put on notice feed manufacturers producing substandard products, terming it detrimental to the livestock commercialization program and a threat to food security. Now we are going down to focus on production to make sure our farmers can produce what it is that the market needs in the quantity and the qualities that are required by the market and in a consistent fashion. The animal feed exhibition and conference is expected to address challenges affecting the livestock sector, including market access, limited availability of new feed proteins, post-harvest losses and lack of feed testing facilities.